admitted this could be the way it went. What was your reaction when it finally went down? Um, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Uh, something. It's a part of the business, though. Um, you got to keep moving forward, regardless. We lost a lot of big pieces, um, but we also got a lot of big pieces as well. So um, definitely looking forward to you know um, making it work. So. One of the main reasons you came here was because of Damien. So just what is it like for you seeing all this change over this past year? You, you came, in for, came here mostly because of him, and now it's kind of your team in a weird way. Uh, like I said, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely a shock. It's definitely different. Um, but it's a part of the business. Uh, this is my fifth team in 10 years, so um, I'm – accustomed to change and you just got to make things work and uh, I think um, Joe and Jody been doing a great job of putting other pieces around um, to to you know to allow us to be successful um, so I'm, I'm fine. Jeremy kind of a two-parter in the sense of you're now one of the elder statesmen on the team that's kind of a, a transition for you and you've talked about you've been with multiple teams over your career but now I, does it feel like your role has changed as far as expectations, as far as mentorship, as leadership, and maybe not necessarily fitting in, but being a part of that top-level structure? Kind of, what does that mean to you kind of heading into this season, and how are you going to go about doing that? Uh, definitely. I th definitely think my role has changed um, from what it was before to being more of a uh, mentor and a leader. Um, to you know, to these younger guys, so we have a we have a young team. Um, so me being one of, if not the oldest player on the team, um, it's different for me. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's it's part of it. So um, I'm gonna embrace my role and uh, you know do whatever I can. Jeremy, what or who excites you the most about this team? Um, I think we have a lot of exciting pieces. Um, I think Ant has grown a lot. I'm um, excited to get to play with him again. Um, Matisse defensively, um, and, and then all of our new guys that we got, and Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, DeAndre. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm excited about it a lot. Um, so I'm um, looking forward to hurry up and getting this started. What does the addition of two athletic centers like DeAndre and Williams do for you and your game? A lot, um, you know, having two athletic centers um, that can, you know, do virtually anything on the court. Um, it's huge. I mean, I think it's huge for me uh, defensively, you know, being able to, you know, funnel guys down there, you know, knowing somebody, you know, down there, you know, ready to have your back on the defensive end and then on the offensive end, uh, just knowing that, you know, um, you know, whenever you get in trouble, you know, you can throw it to the big guy, and, you know, they can they can do do what they need to do to, you know, to, to get a bucket. So, Jeremy, one of the things Scoot has said since being drafted is that he's ready to be a leader now, at, despite being young and um, despite being new to the league. As the resident graybeard, do you, do you see that in him? And do you think that even though he doesn't have the experience that you and some other guys have, that he can be the, the leader of this team as a, as a rookie or really soon? Definitely. Definitely, I think um, he he has a natural natural leadership to him. He's a he's a natural leader. Um, so yeah, I mean, I definitely think he has he has potential to be that um, you know pretty early. Um, but you know, we want to make it easy for him. We don't want to you know put too much on him uh, right away. But he definitely has a natural uh, leader leader role uh, in him. So I definitely look forward to that um, and him growing into that to that position. I was going to ask about Scoot. He took it. He took your question. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, uh, you know, obviously in Detroit, you kind of saw, you know, a, a bit of a younger team. You know, DeAndre talked about how this team, you know, some of the young guys seem like they have their head on straight. Is kind of what he said. They come in ready to work. I mean, do you kind of feel that with these young guys that they've kind of got a little bit of different attitude? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, most, if not all, I think all of these young guys um, definitely got their head on straight, and uh, I definitely think they 
they understand that they got to work in order to, you know, stick in this league. And I think um, it's not something you really get with a lot of young guys. So I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, helping them to, to grow uh, into the players that they're going to become. I guess I'll just ask you how the dad life has been treating you so far. Uh, amazing. It's amazing. Um, I love being a dad, a uh, new dad. So um, getting used to a lot of different things. So adjusting in that area in life as well. So. Jeremy, how do you feel about playing the three? Um, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Um, three or four. Uh, doesn't really matter, especially in today's NBA. Um, a lot of teams go positionless other than, you know, one in the five pretty much. So, um, yeah, don't mind it. And is that something that has been broached to you about this year? Yes. Uh, yeah, they, they ask me and I kind of give the same answer. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, Whatever, wherever you put me at, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Coach. Uh, really big opportunity for you and the team to connect with Trailblazers fans and really connect with the city and build something new. How do you really see yourself leading this team on and off the court and doing that and really building a new, new era for the team? Uh, yeah, I think um, for me, I um, just want to help you know, to create a culture uh, for the young guys so that they can, you know, continue to grow um, in the right way. So um, whether it's, you know, pulling guys to the side, you know, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to, um, but also on the court, like just instilling confidence in everybody, uh, making sure that everybody's um, feeling good and having fun, uh, having fun and also doing the right things uh, in order for us to win. Uh, do you feel that with the big contract comes a big responsibility? And also, how would you and how can you develop your game to what the team needs and uh, the next step in your career? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, with the contract comes a lot of responsibility. Um, and being an older guy on the team, or I don't even know if I'm the oldest, one of the oldest guys on the team, um, I understand, you know, my role um, shifted from what it was before and what it would have been to what it is now. Um, just, you know, mentoring, you know, everybody and making sure everybody's in the right spots and, and doing the right stuff. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. What was the end? I bet. I'll talk to you later.